how do you determine how much money you need? Well, your business plan, your budgets, your accountant, your lawyer, your consultant, the experts around you are going to help you come to that number. More often than not, when people call our office and they're telling us that they need help with restaurant funding, more often than not, they're asking for too little money, which is the exact opposite of what you would think. They're asking for too little money. They're saying, hey, I got this concept. I need $250,000. And then I say, I'm not sure what you think you could do with $250,000, but with $250,000, you're going to put somebody at a huge amount of risk because that's not enough money to build a successful restaurant brand long term. You'd be better off looking for three times that. Well, yeah, but I had my business plan done, and my accountant told me I didn't need any more than that. Okay, your accountant never opened a restaurant before? No. My grandma said I wouldn't need any more than that. Your grandma ever opened a restaurant before? No. Okay. Well, what would make you think that by dialing down that number to an investor, it sounds better? Well, because they have less money at risk. They do have less money at risk, but the risk is higher because you have less, less safety net. What an investor wants is a safety net. Well, yeah, but my business plan says I don't need any more money than that. Okay, well, how much did you put in for marketing? They'll give me a number. Okay, well, add $300,000 to it. How tough is that? Develop a strategy where you're thinking bigger. Again, most people want to think, even with independent restaurants, they think small. And the way you're going to get an investor is think big. Nobody wants to invest in small. Who would want to buy a sports franchise if the coaches on the team say, well, our objective is to end up 8-8 eight and eight this year. Well, what's your objective for the rest of your life? Oh, I think if we end up one game above. So 9-7 and seven would be great. Nobody wants to think small. Our objective is to win the Super Bowl. Think big. Investors think big. You have to think big. That's part of the funding culture. Where do you find the money? OK, with angel investors, you find the money usually within about a four-hour, five-hour circle of where the restaurant's going to be. There are some exceptions to that. But for the most part, if you're building a restaurant in a marketplace and you draw a circle of four or five hours around it, that money is going to come from there. Why? Most people don't want to invest outside of their marketplace. And most people don't want to invest in a marketplace they don't own. So they keep their money tight. Well, so then where am I going to find those people? Unlimited number of people in that circle. Trust me, if you're in any metropolitan area whatsoever, unbelievable number of people in that circle. Doctors, lawyers, bankers, developers, entrepreneurs. It's endless. And once you get into the veins of talking to the right group of people, they will introduce you, and then they'll introduce you, and they'll introduce you, and they'll introduce you. And before you know it, you'll have enough people to talk to so you can hear enough no's, which will help you see, hear the yeses.